Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this checkered bikini top. So to get started on this project, I'm going to be taking two different color yarns. You can choose any color you want. I am sticking with 100% cotton. This is the paint box yarn in a medium weight 4. And then I'm also going to be taking the Blue Sky Fibers Organic Cotton. And I just found this at my local yarn shop. Um, yeah, so this one is also around a medium weight yarn. So these are my two colors that I've chosen. And the hook I'm using is a four millimeter hook. So to get started with this project, I am going to be working in the color white. This is going to be my color one. And my color two will be this olive color. So. I will be following along with my written pattern, which is available on my Patreon. So the link will be down below if you would wish to support and have the written pattern to follow along with. Um, I will have alternating sizes um, on the written pattern, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to follow along with the smallest size. So this is going to be just a standard size small. So I'm going to begin with color one and my four millimeter hook. I'm going to start with a chain of 17. Okay, so now I'm going to be working my way back down the row. I'm going to place my hook through that very first chain going back down the row and I will be casting on my color two at this point. So I'm going to just take off the color one from my hand and wrap color two through the hook and just pull through the two chains. So now I'm going to be working color one into the double crochets. So I'm going to be making sure to lay color one horizontal across the top of the work. Take color two, chain one, prepare for a double crochet by wrapping the yarn around the hook. So place your hook through that first chain, making sure to go underneath color one. And I'm also working in the tail of color two as well. So I'm just going to yarn over, pull through the chain, and then I'm going to pull through two and then pull through the last two. So that is a double crochet, and I'm just going to do three more. So one double crochet and the next three chains. So now I'm on my fourth double crochet. I'm just gonna place my hook through the chain, yarn over, pull through. I'm going to yarn over, pull through two, and before I finish off the double crochet, I will be switching back to color one. So it's really simple. All you do is just prepare to crochet with color one, and you're going to finish off that double crochet with color one. So I'm just going to pull the yarn through those two loops. And now I have successfully switched back, and you're just going to make sure to lay color two along the top of the work and you're going to work that color in now. So to continue with the pattern, I'm going to be placing a total of four double crochets. So one double crochet in each of the next four chains. And if you ever feel like your tail is not tight enough, you can go ahead and pull on it. And now the tail is, I'm going to stop working in the tail and I will just weave that in later. So I'm at the end of the fourth double crochet. So again, instead of finishing off the double crochet in color one, I'm going to switch back to color two and complete that last double crochet in color two. So I've switched back. Every checkered sequence is going to be a total of four chains. So always at the end of the fourth chain, you're going to need to switch back to the alternating color. So now I'm gonna work four double crochets in color two. I am at the fourth chain. So instead of finishing it, I'm going to 
switch back to the first color. So now I'm at the last chain. And again, before finishing that fourth chain, I'm going to switch back to the alternating color. So now we are going to be working in this very last chain, the corner chain, to make the turn. So we're going to be placing a couple of double crochets through that same chain. And then we will be working our way down the wrong side of the row to finish this row. So I'm just going to, in color two, go through that very last chain. I'm going to place two double crochets. Before completing that second double crochet, I'm going to switch back to color one and complete that second double crochet. I'm going to go back in through that very same chain, placing two more double crochets, but this time in color one. So now I'm switching back to color two to complete that double crochet. And then now we have made the turn, so I'm just going to work my way back down the wrong side of the row so the colors will not be matching up so i'm just going to go through that very first chain of the row with a double crochet now i am at the fourth double crochet i'm going to switch back to color one So as you can see, as we make our way down, the colors will not match up. So now I'm switching back to color two. So I'm at the very last double crochet of the row. And for this double crochet, we're not going to be switching back to color two. We're just going to complete that double crochet in color one. Then we're going to chain two flip over the work and make sure to wrap color two back around and we are going to be doing the next four double crochets in white so this row will we will be matching up the colors yarn over go back through that very first chain place my first double crochet and then go back in through the next three chains making sure to switch back to the alternating color at the end of the fourth double crochet. So I'm just going to continue that pattern until I reach the top of the turn. So I'll come back once I finish. So now I'm at the turn. I've switched to color one. I'm going to be placing two double crochets in that very next chain. And then I'm going to be placing two double crochets through that very next chain. And before I complete this double crochet, I'm going to switch back to color one. I'm sorry, color two. So now I've switched back to color two. I'm going to be placing two double crochets through that next chain. and then two double crochets through the very next chain. So now I'm going to make sure to switch back to color one to complete that second double crochet. So now I'm just going to be continuing the pattern. So placing one double crochet in each of the next four chains, switching back to the alternating color at the end of every fourth double crochet. So now I'm at the very last chain of the row two. Um, at the end of this chain, I am going to be switching back to color one. Um, and then I'm going to chain two, flip over the work, and wrap around color two to the front. And this row for row three, we are going to be alternating the colors. So if it's green, beneath and the row beneath it will be white on top now so i'm going to continue that pattern all the way up until i reach the turning rows so i'll be back to show you the turn so now i am at the turn i have switched to color one at the end of that last chain 
And so now I'm just going to place one double crochet in each of the first two chains. So now through that next chain, I am going to be placing two double crochets through that same chain. And then one double crochet through that last chain. Before I complete that double crochet, I'm going to switch back to my color two. And then through that very next chain, one double crochet. Through that next chain, two double crochets. Through the next chain, one double crochet, and the last chain, one double crochet. Then I'm going to switch back to my color one and make my way back down the row with that same pattern. So now I have made my way to the end of the row. I am just going to stick with color two. So I'm going to complete the row in color two and chain two more flip over the work, wrap around the color one, and just go straight into double crochets. I'm going to work my way up using that same pattern until I reach the top of the turn. So now I have made it to the last chain before the turn. I am going to switch to my color two at the top of that fourth double crochet. Now I'm going into the turn for the first three chains. I'm just going to place one double crochet in each chain in color two. So now for that very next chain, I am going to be placing two double crochet through that same chain. And through that last chain, I'm going to be placing two double crochet. So before I complete that chain, I'm going to switch back to my color one and I'm going to be placing two double crochet through that very next chain, then two double crochet through the chain after, and then one double crochet in each of the next three chains, switching back to my color two at the top of that third double crochet, and then working my way back down the pattern, we are going to be matching up the colors from the previous row. So now I've made my way to the end of the row. Before I complete that last double crochet of the row, I am going to cast on my color two and we will begin row five in color two. So to begin row five, I have chained two. I'm just gonna flip over the work and bring my color one around to the back. Then I'm going to begin the same way with double crochets, alternating the colors, beginning with color two. So I'm just going to make my way up until I reach the turn. So I have made my way to the turn. I am actually just going to continue color one up into the turn. So now I have worked my way into the turn three chains. I've stopped on the top of the third double crochet and I am going to switch to my color two. So then in the next two chains, I'm going to be placing one double crochet in each chain. So now in each of the next three chains, I will be placing a total of two double crochets per chain. So now before I complete that last double crochet, I'll switch back to my color one. And in the next chain, in the next three chains, I'm going to be placing two double crochets per chain. So now I'm just going to be placing one double crochet in the next four chains. 
And then once I've made my way to the end of the fourth double crochet, I'll switch back to my color two. And then I'm going to just make my way down the row as normal. So now I've made my way to the end of the row, I will be continuing with color one. So I'm going to chain two, flip over the work, wrap around the color two, and then I'm going to continue um, working my way up to the turn. So now I have made it to the turn, I am just going to cast on color one. And I'm going to place one double crochet in each of the next four chains. At the top of the fourth double crochet, I'm going to cast on color two. Then I'm going to be placing two double crochets in each of the next two chains. Then I'm going to place one double crochet in the next chain, one double crochet in the next chain, cast on at the top of that next chain, and continue with two double crochets in that next chain. Two double crochets in the chain after. one double crochet in that next chain, so then one double crochet in the next chain, and then two double crochets in each of the next two chains. We are just mirroring the pattern from the opposite side of the turn. Then I'm just going to place one double crochet in each of the next two chains. And before I complete the top of this double crochet, I'm going to cast on my color two again. And then for the remainder of this turn piece, I'm going to be placing two double crochets in each of the next two chains. And then one double crochet in each of the next two chains. And then at the top of this last double crochet, I'm going to cast on my color one. Then I'm just going to make my way back down the row, placing one double crochet in each chain. And I'm matching up the colors to the previous row. It's going to cut the yarn and I'm going to yarn over both of them and pull through that last working chain and then from here you can just double knot it and then to begin on the straps for the top I'm just going to take that top chain and I'm actually going to end up just taking both colors and I'm going to yarn over and pull it through that top chain so then I'm just going to knot it one time and I'm going to place my hook back through that top loop, I'm going to yarn over, pull through, and I will weave in those ends later. So then from here I'm just going to do a single crochet chain. And you can make this as long as you would like it to be. I will probably end up doing about 100 chains. So now I have the tops of both bikini tops attached to them. So now I'm just going to do the band around the base. So I'm going to get started by making a slip knot with both of my colors. And I'm going to make a chain. So this is the chain that's going to wrap around your back. So again, you can make this as long as you would like it to be. I'll probably keep mine around 60 to 80 chains long. So 
So once you have your initial back strap started, you're just going to take one of your um, bikini cups and you're going to flip it to the bottom. So all you're going to be doing is attaching it with single crochet to the bottom of your chain. So I'm just going to go through that very last chain, um, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through two. So I'm just going to make my way along the bottom of the cup, placing one single crochet in the sides of the chain. So now I am about to attach my second cup. I'm just going to make sure so there's no bulges on the side. I'm going to put my hook through that very corner chain and place my last single crochet. So if you do have a larger bust, it is optional for you to chain one or two in between attaching your next cup. I am just going to go straight into attaching the next cup. So I'm just going to take the other corner side. I'm not chaining in between my cups, but you totally can if you want more space. But I'm just going to go straight into my single crochet chains. So then once I'm finished with this row, I'm just going to chain off the same number of chains as I did on the other side. And then once you're finished with that, you're basically done with this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a really quick, easy, and cute bikini design perfect for the summertime so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments down below and if you would like access to my patterns my past patterns and all of my future patterns I will be posting on my patreon so if you want to I will leave all the links down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video